Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving your disaster battle playing as Carcassonne going up against Lothurn. So Tyrion's rocket up with a pretty strong army, and the reinforcing army is actually not that great. It's full of sword masters of Hoeth, um, which, when controlled by the AI on legendary difficulty, which is this is on, um, can actually do quite well. But tactically speaking, they're not a very good unit. Alright, so, what have we got? We've got a pretty basic army here, it's not great, but Lu and Leonco is rocking up a a, hippogr a Royal Hippogriff Knight army, which is great. Um, the enemy forces do seem stronger than ours, for sure, just just by a little bit. Actually, by a decent margin. Those Sisters of Avalon are so far superior to Peasant Bowmen. Um, I definitely think we should not control a large army, because we don't want this army here basically making it impossible for us to get to uh, the sisters. We have to knock them out early, uh, which is still going to be tricky even without them. Uh, some of these forces will show up at the start. Yeah, I think we should withdraw her immediately, because I don't think she's going to be useful at all, just so we get another Hippogriff Knight coming in. Alright, let's pop this down here, and that one there. And uh, we'll see how we go with this. One thing that we could also do is actually withdraw all of our infantry right at the start. That way we've got a fully mobile force. That's one thing that we could do, but some of those Hippogriff Knights are damaged. And that is going to make a difference here. Nothing is... Yeah, we should be able to withdraw from there. Because um, those rocks aren't going to block it. Because honestly, these troops here are just going to melt immediately. Not necessarily, actually. I got an idea. So this dude here, speed 97. I'm going to have him, like... I don't know, just dick him around a little bit. Uh, you go stand over there. Yeah, and you're, you're leaving. You're totally useless to us on this battlefield. We're not going to use any of your magic. Oh, wait, hang on a second. One chain lightning would be pretty good. Problem is though, she's not on horseback. Crap, what's the range on that? 150. <sighs> That's going to be tricky to utilize. I still think we're going to be utilizing life magic a lot more because of all the hippogriff knights. So I'm just going to get her off the battlefield. If she was on the, if she was on a um. On a unicorn or a horse, I would keep her for the battle. You know, at least for the start, but that's just not the case. Alright, I gotta get this a little bit more reorganized. Um, hang on, just, just wait a minute. I gotta get organized first. I want these guys to be have their backs right to the wall here. Alright, Fane Chant just got Arcane Conduit, so that's good. Can't heal any of them at the moment. Unfortunately, we've got damaged ones coming in at the start. And Luan Leonco is on... Oh, God, he's on a horse. Now, if we were attacking, then wasting all the enemy ammo would certainly be viable, but since we're defending, it's not really a viable strategy. But I'm just sort of buying some time at the moment, just to get a bit of healing done. Wait, hang on. Should I be using her magic? Four wins, as opposed to three. No, I should have used the, uh, the phase instead. Thing is, it is a mostly uh, archer-based army. Ah, oh, crap! Actually, that's not terrible. Um, get get them over there quickly. Try and take out those hippo, uh, pff, phoenixes. Get these ones over there as well. 
It's sort of like a, a mistake that could actually be in our advantage. I just forgot about them. See, while the cavalry is keeping them tied down, those are really important units. We can, we can kill them. I just, I just didn't see it. Alright, well, well, that one will come back down, but get rid of this Frost Heart Phoenix. Alright, I've made a decision here, and that is I don't want these units on the battlefield. Just no mobility, and we need mobility a lot right now. What are these? Silver Helms? Okay. Not super deadly. God, um. Yeah, get them around the other. Those, those infantry were just not going to help us at all. Yeah. Okay, we're winning in this little engagement here, but they've already got their Shadow Warriors here. Okay, yeah. Just trying to lure them away a little bit, so these guys here can finish their job. So far, no Hippogriff Knights have been killed. Which is good. It would be good if we could wipe out these units, but really just get them off the battlefield. Let's just try to... Try to win, rather than annihilate them right now. Okay, so a little bit of a, a mistake on my part turned out to be turned around to an advantage. So that's good. Also, with uh, reinforcements coming in, these guys go to their reinforcement spot. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Cool, go kill them. So yeah, like I said, the... Uh, um... Uh, the infantry just weren't going to come in handy. We really should take out those artillery, for sure. King and so that's just a lord. Alright, send some of these to go take out the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. They should do that super quick, and some of these to take that out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, did we kill the Phoenix? Yep, yeah, it's dead. Cool, and that one's leaving the battlefield, which means more reinforcements will be coming in. We want to... Uh, it's not quite dead. Plenty of winds of magic. We don't have to be super conservative. But yeah, sometimes you can actually have units that are detrimental to your war effort. So, disbanding or... Or getting rid of them off the battlefield is actually giving you an advantage. Like, like with those cases here. Now, I'm not necessarily, say, necessarily saying that those units are bad. But in this particular situation, they were really going to hurt us. Alright. We shouldn't get bogged down in a fight with them. We should be focusing on hit and runs. Did I lose any Hippogriffs? Doesn't look like it, so... If nobody got killed, we can heal whatever damage has been done so far. Right, I need to put them in a control group, just so I know which ones are in, you know, where. And we'll need to get the Fane Chantress and stuff over here so that they can pop down some heals. I'm not going to bother healing them, they're not super important. If I go over there with the uh, with the Hippogriff Knights, they're just going to get wrecked by sisters. It's not a good idea. It would have been good if we could have wiped out the, uh, the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, but it's not worth sacrificing half our army to do that. Yeah, everyone's just going to get over here quickly. This is working out reasonably well. That army's on Force March as well. Uh, 
wanted you to uh, come over here and just hide for the time being, just sort of in the way. They basically just focus on using constant stun lock, just totally wreck them. As I said, these units are not going to be great in this tactical situation, and, you know, I meant it. Some people say these are great melee infantry, and they are. But it's sort of like being the best of the worst. Can't stay here fighting forever. Eventually they're gonna catch up. Not sure how much this one uh, it's not here. It hasn't taken any damage yet. See, I was wondering where the line was going to be. Oh, wow, that was quick. Holy crap. Yeah, they're not fully hidden there. We can do a little bit of healing, it's fine. Alright, so far so good. Alright, those two should actually be able to handle assistance there. And then hopefully take out that as well. How much experience does it have? A lot, okay. Actually, I reckon sisters might actually beat them in melee. Because of how damaged we are. This is why I keep saying, like, sisters don't need Phoenix Guard as reinforcements. Yeah, just go after this. Pretty sure there's more Hippogriff Knights still to come in. So if these two here get wrecked, well, it is what it is. Yeah, see, he's not winning in melee. People often ask as well, why don't I ever use this? It's because it's shit. doesn't do anything. It's just a... It's just a flavor, that's all it is. We need to get out of here really soon. As in now, it would be good. You can have to go around this way. <coughs> yeah, uh, we, would, we weren't going to win that melee. But we took out the enemy artillery now, so that's good. Yeah, sisters are by far the most dangerous unit on this battlefield. Cool, got some more guys coming in. So yeah, that was a bit of a trade-off there. Sacrifice one of our units to take out one of theirs, which isn't ideal, but... We were It was either that or nothing. We got to get away from Tyrion. How fast is he? Yeah, he's pretty fast. We don't want to be getting into melee while also being shot, which is why we have to isolate their units. Use our mobility. Uh, I don't have anything that can slow him. Well, I technically have this. It slowed him down a little bit. Alright. Sisters aren't good at dealing with Hippogriff Knights, so I'll just send one over there to finish that other one out. Because once we've dealt with the sisters, everything should be okay. That's by far the biggest threat to us. 
Now, I'm actually glad Tyrion's coming at us this much, but I didn't want him to catch us there. Because our guys will be a little... No, uh, he's backed off a bit. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to withdraw you from the battlefield. You're really not going to be of any further use. And all you're just all you're going to do is get killed. Even sending these three guys up against Tyrion is probably a bad call. Even with life magic, because he'll have the heart of Avalon. Yeah. And he's just he's just a beast. Absolute beast. Maybe if Lewin was on Bequi, maybe, but he's not. Magic hang on, hang on. What does, how much magic resist does he have? Quite a lot. Okay, get him out, get him out. Oh shit. Alright, here's our chance. Just bog him down completely. He came in way too far ahead of his main force. Yeah, sisters got wrecked there by, by them. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of them. Just not get rid of them, just remove them from the battlefield. That way we get more of them coming in. Alright, now, pull out the Hippogriffs, and let the heroes fight, fight there for a bit. Oh my god, he hit so hard. Go back in there again. Because while they're all in there, they're not properly getting hits in. Actually, just one should be enough. Just don't let him leave. Uh, sorry, let him leave the battlefield. That's fine. Don't let him recover. I mean, it would be better if we could wound him. It's not essential. Yeah, he got his heart of Avalon. And he's, he's gone. Okay, their most dangerous units left the battlefield. Great. Would have been better if we could have wounded him, but you can focus on doing that in the next battle. Alright, there, that's much more comfortable. Ugh, control groups. Alright, move out over there. Alright, those sisters are, they're gone. Whether they win or lose, they're dead. But they're not gonna win. Well, they might. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, let's survey the damage. I don't think a single Hippogriff Knight's dead, uh, been killed yet. Um, but some of them are a little bit damaged. Alright, we're gonna put these into, essentially, two groups. Damaged and undamaged. So the ones with eight, I'm going to send them around, actually keep them here, the damaged, undamaged ones, sorry, the damaged ones will go around this way. Because these here, even though it's fewer units, actually are more hippogriffs than all of these. So we want to use... Uh, Earthblood rather than regrowth so that we can also get life bloom and that, that way everybody gets a little bit of a heal because we're not particularly damaged some of the units have only taken just a little bit so life bloom will help them we don't want to use up too much winds of magic we've got plenty but we might need to use a lot more all right I don't want to go charging in on that just yet because there's a lot of phoenix guard in there which isn't ideal to be fighting like they should be able to handle it but just not ideal Meanwhile, these guys will go around over here and pick off some of the uh, Sword Masters of Hoeth. Just because it's easy. Pick off the easy stuff first rather than the hard stuff. I believe we still have more Hippogriff Knights to come in. I'm not 
хорошо. Pick off the stragglers. Actually, come over. Uh, yeah, no, no, go for there. That'll keep him busy for a bit. And then these guys will catch up and we'll, we'll hit them up over there. Hit them with our full force. If we keep this up, we'll inflict the army loss penalty fairly early. So we don't even have to fight them. But yeah, if we just go charging in there, we are guaranteed loads of losses. Whereas if we take off the low-hanging fruit over here, like, there's no, like, there's no damage on that. Easy. Because also, you got to keep in mind, we've, dis we've withdrawn a lot of our balance of power. That counts against us here. So we need to be basically playing catch-up. Which we should have by now already caught up. But we'll see. Yeah. These guys are totally useless in this situation. We only have to get them off the battlefield because they're on force march, they'll get wiped out. So we don't have to worry about wiping them out on the battlefield. Alright, I'm going to reorganize this a little bit more. Oh, we got sisters coming in. Oh, that is just great. Because you're not going to get a chance to shoot. And what are these, Dragon Princes? Yep. That's right, Dragon Princes is shit. Don't stand a chance here. It's a good legend, you just don't use them right. Yeah, that's why they melted literally the fastest out of any of them. We have to get out of here real soon. That should be the back end of the battle. Ah, uh, you should be okay. Right, I'll get, I'll get the heroes over there. We don't want to get bogged down while those sisters are shooting at us. I could use uh, dwellers below, but uh, the thing is, a shit spell. All right, we got, we got to get out of here. It's actually really bad that the phoenixes are here right now and save a good chance of bogging us down. Did we kill that phoenix? Oh, no, but we definitely did some damage to it. Okay, I gotta be casting some spells. Yeah, we're pretty tired now. And they aren't. I don't think we've lost a single hippogriff yet. Don't mind fighting them, just away from the Sisters of Avalorn. Alright, can speed that up. Gotta keep reissuing the order, or else every time they attack us, they might just cancel the move order. Just get far enough away. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, get out of that. Alright, you should be fine to fight it now. Alright, while that's going on, send these three over here just to get shot by... Actually, I only need one of them to do it. How about you do it? Just to get shot by the sisters so that they don't move. Don't move over here. We want this fight to go on. We just, you know, want them to do it without disturbances. Uh, if he does fire damage, he's actually quite useless against the flame fire phoenix. Alright, 
Gotta love that magic and missile resistance. Shit, what are we gonna get? No, 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 no. Very bad, very bad. Uh, we need guys over there. Not all of them, though. Need to get further. Oh, hang on, this one here is nearly wiped out. I don't know if that was the one with some force march or whatever, but let's just take it out anyway. Since it's here. Need to get moving again. Okay, it's gone. Wait, is it? No, it's not quite. Oh, just forget it. Just let it go. Okay, it is dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I might have just shot down on the ground. Still got the life bloom, it's only three wins of magic, it's not that big of a deal. We gotta get out of here. Stay away from those sisters. Too dangerous. We will not trade well balance of power against them. Like this. If it was all just sisters, I'd have no problem just charging it there. But because there's Phoenix Guard, they can really bog us down a fair bit. Actually, now that I think about it, fuck them. Let's, let's ignore them. Let's go in. We've done so much damage to them now, I reckon we could actually handle it. Yeah, don't... Oh, God, they shred us. Just forget about their melee infantry. Go straight for the sisters. They're a bit tired now, too. Cool. Yeah, we've lost the Hippogriff. But we got him without the these guys getting involved. You know, to begin with. Phoenix revived. Let's focus on the sisters. We're going to take a bit of damage from the Phoenix Guard. But... Just focus on the sisters first. Swiftly. Champion of the lady. With haste. I know. I think I need some backup. I need to get in closer. Okay. We're getting our ass eaten. We need to get out of there. But just keep pushing, pushing against the sisters in that direction. What might be good here, actually, is a one of these. Just because there's so many of them in there. It's not going to do a ton of damage. But, you know, it'd be be worth more than what we're, we're spending in terms of Winds of Magic. Start pulling them out. We've done a lot of damage to them, but we're also taking a lot of damage now. We need to pull out and recover a little bit. None of the, like, the sisters broke. Look at this one here. It's only taking one casualty, but it's really badly damaged. Just pull out. Just run over there. Same as you guys, just run over there. We'll meet up with them later. I think we traded reasonably well for Balance of Power there. And only a handful of hippogriffs actually got killed. Victories in our grasp plus grab. Are they getting the... Yes, they just got the army losses. Okay, now we go back in there. So we do need to run these guys down. Now, overall, this this should be essentially minimal damage. I mean, Luan Leonko is actually in better shape now than he was at the beginning of the battle. There's no point doing any more heals on, on them. It's just heal the heroes. Because, like, that guy... Uh, what's, what's this one here, for example. Um, we can't recover that, the one dead one. But since one of their armies is on force march, you should easily, because it'll be dead, you should easily be able to finish off Tyrion's army now next turn. There we go, that's what we want to see. It's one thing to win the battle where, oh, you know what, we did actually take some damage. Well, you know what, that's a regiment of renown, so was, you, know, you can just replace them in ten turns. And Tyrion's army did take a beating, but yeah, definitely the biggest concern was those Sisters of Avalon. It would have been nice to have snapped them at the beginning, but we would have taken massive damage. That's about as damaged as they were at the start anyway. 
You're pretty good for money. Let's grab that. And let's just see how things are going. But yeah, like I said, it's one thing to win the battle. It's another thing entirely to win it well. You know, make sure you you know walk out of there with full numbers. If we had kept our infantry in there, they would have gotten absolutely obliterated and provided no real value. Now, I'm not saying necessarily that you need to disband them and recruit Hippogriff Knights. You don't need to do that. But they're not complementing each other in the way they're currently, um, they're currently moving around. And if you got it, it's, it's totally fine to move two armies around together and both complementing each other, but they have to work together properly. And that that army combination against the High Elves, it just isn't working. So what I would recommend is actually pulling the Fan Enchantress out and just let Lou and Leonko do, it, do his thing. Because he can handle that by himself with that kind of army. Is it free? Let me just see. Did you get it for free? You did! Oh, you got a good campaign where you get them for free. Very nice. All right, well. I cannot. Um... You should be fine to take out Tyrion uh, with Lu Luan Leonko's army. Alright, cool. Cool, your campaign doesn't seem like it's in any trouble, we just need to win that battle. Okay, cool. So yeah, just sometimes doing things that might seem, you know, a bit silly, like withdrawing your entire infantry forces right at the start, uh, just to allow, you know, the, the back line of cavalry to come in. You want to basically amplify whatever advantages you have and use it to the extreme, which is what we did there. They just weren't able to catch us, even though they technically had a stronger army, uh, they just couldn't catch us and we just picked off the stragglers and eventually we were stronger than them and then we hit them hard. Anyway, that's the end of this one guys, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time, fuckers.